In this video segment, we'll demonstrate Nimbula Director Groups, Users, and Permission Delegation. In our previous video segment on creating customers and launching virtual machines, we described a deployment scenario where a fictitious Acme Corporation wants to provide a private cloud to serve two of their internal customers, Acme Corporation employees that we'll call Acme, and contractors hired by Acme that we'll call contractors. We'll assume that you've already created these two customers as illustrated in our previous video. The first internal customer called Acme is further divided into two groups with different functions, the machine images group which we'll call images, and the application development group which we'll call apps. The images group's job is to maintain all machine images and image lists that will be used by the rest of Acme. If you recall, an image list is a persistent list of images that can be used to keep track of different versions of a machine image. A machine image is a virtual machine template that you can launch into a running virtual machine instance. The Apps Group's job is to develop and deploy useful applications for Acme Corporation's use, including their contractors. The Apps Group uses the Images Group's machine images and image lists to speed up their development. Thus, the Apps Group only needs to worry about their applications, knowing that the Images Group is maintaining stable and secure images for them. George works for the Images Group, and Mary works for the Apps Group. We'll now go ahead and create the groups and users that we just described. Log in as Acme Administrator, and click on the User Management tab. Click on the Groups tab, and then Create Subgroup. Enter Acme Images as the group name. Enter Acme Images as the description. And click Save. Next, use the same method to create a group called Acme Apps. Before we create our users, we'll delegate permissions to the two groups we've just created rather than delegate permissions on the users, since users inherit permissions from their group. You can then delegate permissions to users by adding or removing them from groups when they are hired, leave the company, or change job functions. Select Acme Images and click the Permissions tab in the bottom pane. Click Advanced View. and then click Edit. Select the checkboxes shown here in order to allow the Images group to view users and groups, as well as images and instances. Next, we'll allow the Images group to manage images and instances in order to create and maintain images and image lists for use by themselves and by others. This will also allow them to create and destroy VMs, which is a necessary part of developing and testing out new images. We'll delegate slightly different permissions to the Acme Apps Group. These differ from the permissions we granted the Images Group, such that the Apps Group can only view and launch VMs from images and image lists, but not manage them. Now we'll create two users and add them to the right groups. If you recall, George works for the Images group and Mary works for the Apps group. Click the Users subtab under User Management and click Create User. Enter Acme George as the username, George as the full name, George's email address and password. Click Save. Now add George to the Images group by clicking the Groups tab Click Edit, and select Acme Images. Click Save. Repeat these steps for creating user Mary and add Mary to the Acme Apps group. We also want to give George access to public machine images, specifically an Ubuntu machine image that was included in Nimbula Director at install time. Add George to another group called Acme Public to enable this. George's job in the Images group is now to create and manage images and image lists, which we'll demonstrate in our next video segment.
So we've just created two groups and two users and granted different group permissions to enable one group to create image lists for the other group to launch. 